Welcome, I'm David Geiger. The Pro Farmer Tour crop yield estimates are out. After a week of touring, Pro Farmer estimates corn at 15.1 billion bushels nationwide, with an average yield of 177 bushels an acre. Illinois has the highest corn estimates at 212 bushels an acre, with Indiana also jumping above the 200 bushel an acre estimate. In soybeans, Pro Farmer estimates 4.4 billion bushels with a yield of 51.2 bushels an acre. Three states had soybean harvest estimates over 60 bushels an acre, including Illinois at 66, Indiana at 62, and Ohio at 60. South Dakota had the lowest harvest prediction at 41 bushels an acre. Overall farm bankruptcy rates are dropping. Despite COVID-19 challenges and bad weather, higher commodity prices and government support have turned around year-over-year -year increases in Chapter 12 bankruptcies. The American Farm Bureau says data from June 2020 to June 2021 found 438 Chapter 12 bankruptcy filings, down 24 percent. The filings over the last 12 months are the lowest since 2015. The Midwest, which leads all regions of bankruptcy filings, had 61 fewer in the last year. The cattle on feed report was out Friday showing lower Iowa stocks. Feedlots with more than 1,000 had had more than 600,000 cattle, according to the National Agricultural Statistics Service, which is unchanged from last month, but 3% lower than 2020. Iowa feedlots with fewer than 1,000 head had 455,000 animals, down 5% from last month and 9% from last year. Nationwide, the report shows feedlots with more than 1,000 head of cattle total 11.1 million, down 2% from last year. And our market analyst, Jamie Kowaki, has the start of the week markets. We're seeing a two-sided trade. Corn a little bit lower, beans a little bit firmer. We saw kind of a wild trade finishing off last week, starting off first, and soybeans. No fresh exports uh, were announced today. We're pretty much just sitting here, you know, uh, breaking out kind of towards where we were on these last lows that uh, we have not seen uh, really since the middle part of June. But uh, here this week, uh, pretty much going to see if we can get a bounce off this extreme heat or not and moving in this week and also to just kind of a technical correction back up to the upside as a lot of the weather premium got wiped out a lot last week. Um, you know, corn is still kind of, I think, sideways to maybe just a little bit better at times until we uh, get a better handle on the yields to get further into harvest and obviously we're weeks away from that. Over to the meat sector, very, very solid day. We saw the cattle and feed report come out after the close on Friday. It was supportive, getting a bounce off of that. But also, too, pretty much playing catch at the box beef markets on fire again. We're back above 300 in both choice and select. Hogs look to be a little bit sluggish right now seasonally and kind of wouldn't just kind of see the market kind of tail off in here for, you know, maybe through Labor Day and just go sideways to lower. Nothing major sell-off wise, but just, just really just nothing at all here short term. The Goldback Sheep and Goat Auction on Saturday saw a sale of 510 head of sheep. Feeder lambs fetched the day's average price of $2.50 per pound, while fed lambs averaged $2.38 per pound. There were 114 head of goats at the auction, which saw a high average price ranging from $140 to $400 per head. And that's all I have for the Agribusiness Report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time.